Perfect. Perfect. Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So y'all, the year of 2021 has definitely been hashtag use your stash. Thanks to my girl Alexis, she has told us all we need to use our stash and that's what I've been trying to do. I have really not bought much for 2021 and I probably ain't buying much for 2022 either because I still got too much stuff. Y'all know I've been struggling with my hair as far as shedding goes. So I really haven't been doing much to my hair. So I don't have a lot of empties. But you know I got a couple. Some of them y'all need to know about because they're good. And some of y'all need to know about because you don't need to waste your damn time. So first let's talk about one of my favorites that I did get through. You know when you love it it's easier to get through it. And this is by Curl Smith. This is the Bond Curl Rehab Salve. I love this stuff. I really really do like it. I think it makes my hair feel stronger. Still moisturized. Has great slip. Like I love this. If you have not tried this and your hair is weak. It's breaking. It just needs some elasticity. Some bounce. Some oof. Try this because it's really, really good and the slip on it makes it easy for you to do it like a whole pre-poo situation and everything. So this is a must for me. Like I love this. I have a backup, which I will be using that, but I love the way this makes my hair feel. It strengthens it. It just just makes it feel like new. You know what I'm saying? It gives it that bounce. I, I love this stuff. This Joyco Moisture Recovery. Okay, now this does have silicones. If you ain't a silicone girl, then you can just ignore this part. But if you don't mind silicones, baby, baby. B. This is so good. Like, and this is like so old. I've been hearing about this since I've been natural. I've been natural four years now. And I just never thought to pick it up. You know, I would see it in TJ Maxx and different places and I just wouldn't pick it up. But one day I was in Alta and I was like, let me try this. You know what I'm saying? Girl, girl, the moisture. Mm. It was so freaking moisturized. Like my hair was so moisturized, but like butter, like it felt so good. Like I would absolutely repurchase this. And I recommend that you try if you don't mind um silicones. Like, girl, this this right here. Yes. This kaleidoscope edge control, girl, do not waste your time. It is not holding down nothing. It ain't it ain't reliable. It ain't dependable. It ain't nothing. It ain't holding down nothing. But it just don't last it don't do nothing like my hair be curling right back up before i get out the door so this is a no ma'am this eco styler gel girl first of all it stink it's you know it don't stink it's stank this stank i don't like the smell it's like a strong cologne smell i don't like it and it's hella drying like it's i don't like it at all um i use it up on some like pull back puff ponytails or whatever just to use it up but girl i would not when I say not, I will not repurchase this. Uh-uh. Like using Eco Styler for wash and goes, I'm just not doing it. I'm not, not doing it. The only time I would ever purchase Eco Styler and use it was for slick back ponytails, but I decided to use this one for a wash and go. Girl, no, ma'am. Like not in 2021 or ever in the future. Like, no. This Quench by Aunt Jackie, y'all. This is not the first time it's been in my empties. This is such a good leave-in. Like, I love this stuff. And like I told y'all last time this was empty, y'all it's so like watery and runny and when i first used this i was like girl this is not fitting to do nothing like it's not finna do nothing this is so freaking good and moisturizing this needs to i prefer to apply this in the shower but i've applied it both in and out the shower if you're looking for slip if you're looking for moisture if you like if you like your leave-in to have slip put it on in the shower if you want it to be like okay with slip don't put it on in the shower but as far as the moisture goes you're gonna get the moisture either way and for it to be like so lightweight like it's moisturizing for that and then you put your cream or your gel or whatever on top of it like this is good and it's so cheap it's so cheap like this is good i love this this carol's daughter wash day delight love this stuff love that it has a nozzle it's watery super foamy lather like it's clarifying though so if you like a clarifying shampoo or you need you know a clarifying shampoo for that time coming out of protective style or whatever this is really really good you get so much product and it's just it's just a good clarifying shampoo it's cheap and i recommend this carol's daughter coco cream curl quenching deep moisture mask carol's daughter really hit it out the park for me this year as far as deep conditioners this um their almond milk one i tried and i think it was another one called hair milk or something like that but I did use like this and two other ones this year and they have all been very, very moisturizing. So they hit it out the park with this. It was moisturizing, nice thick formula like I 
really did enjoy this. This is the Bella Curls Black Castor Oil Hair Butter. This is actually not empty. It's actually hella full. Um, I used this with the leave-in from this line. And girl, my hair was flake, flake city. It was like, no ma'am. Like, no. So this is very affordable. $5 you can get at Dollar General and stuff. But some things that cost $5 <laughs> ain't worth nothing but $5. So I would not repurchase this, recommend it, or none of that. This leave-in conditioner by Aveda. This is their Nutriplenish leave-in conditioner for deep moisture. I wouldn't repurchase this. This was just used up like if I had my hair just in twist and I just needed to like, you know, spray it down just to keep it moisturized. So that's what I use this for. It's kind of like a thicker, it's still a little bit left in here, I think. Yeah, it's like a thicker kind of leave-in, which I did like, but I'm not gonna repurchase. Now the curl refresher that does need to be repurchased is this lavender spritzer by Camille Rose. I'm so mad that she does not sell this in the store. Like, give us this in the store. We need this in Target, Walmart, Sally's, everywhere. Like, why do we have to order this online? It's so good. This be pretty much all I be wanting to order on her website. Like, everything else I can pretty much get from the store except some of the coconut products, but girl, this is the best hair refresher ever. I don't know what it is, but it's like moisturizing. It has some special oils in there to kind of lock in the moisture. Your hair be like feeling soft. And this is just freaking good. I highly recommend this. Like this is my favorite. It's like, it's so it's such a good curl refresher that I want to use it as a leave-in. Like I want to try it as a leave-in. I'm going to repurchase it and I'm going to try it as a leave-in because it's, it's that good. Like this can absolutely replace Alakay's lemongrass. Like, it's, it's like that girl. it's like that so i would absolutely highly recommend that that you pick this up if you need a curl refresher or some kind of spray leave-in something that's not too heavy maybe you're doing like a rise set or something but this got some nice oils in it so be careful don't use too much but girl this TGIN Miracle CPR treatment. Okay, the first time I used it, I used it as like I would use the honey hair mask as a deep conditioner. Left it in my hair too long. Hair was hard and dry and just a hot ass mess. Like then I decided, oh, well maybe I should read the directions because you know, I'm good for not reading directions, okay? So I read the directions and it said, you know, put it on your hair for just a couple of minutes just to give your hair like a boost boost of strengthening and that's what I did way better girl you gotta follow directions way better it did give my hair like a boost of strengthening my hair wasn't super dried out so I did like this it reminded me of the um like the Afro G two minute keratin you know conditioners so I will repurchase this this is the diva curl heaven and hair of course this is the old packaging because I've been had it and I just decided to use it and honey it is heaven in here had my hair moisturized feeling like it was on cloud nine and i absolutely love this i would absolutely repurchase this and i know a lot of y'all canceled diva curl a lot of people canceled diva curl and never had even used diva curl because they always talk about it costs too much but anywho i like it i will repurchase this Shebe and saw palmetto hair and scalp serum by negus banda um i did like it it gives me like a nice cooling feeling not not peppermint cool but just soothing um, on my scalp so I did like it if I repurchase like you know stuff from Negus Banda I wouldn't mind picking this up it just made my scalp feel good and moisturized this is the aloe water splash refreshing coil water by honey's handmade this was nothing special I think this was in the kitchen collection three which I got and just y'all just never seen it on my channel because I ain't really use it um but I did use this because like I said I like to keep my twists while they in my head just ch -ch 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 refreshed um this was okay but like I said it wasn't nothing special nothing I will repurchase the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate love this stuff hella moisturizing um it's so moisturizing though that when you put it under a styler like a gel or a twist cream like your hair even though it's dry it's still going to feel moist and wet like it's that moisturizing so if you don't like that feeling then you might not like this but if you want something that's hella moisturizing or you got gels that's like so dang on drying and you want to use them up still pick this up and put this underneath it it will fix it this is organic jamaican black castor oil by rooted treasure this is my absolute favorite jamaican black castor oil it's so thick it's so thick and it has like a coffee like a deep coffee bean smell 
um but i love it it's so good it just glides even though it's thick once it like warms up on your fingers and your scalp like it just glides on your hair so good i love this i already have a backup of it if you like thick nice deep, deep rich jamaican black castor oils i highly recommend this one this is the Protein Styling Gel by Care Care. Um, somebody actually gave me this. A family member gave me this because they had a couple of them. And this is that brown gel. And I took it from her because I do. We, we don't really use the brown gel like we used to use back in the day. You remember the Ampro or whatever. And I used to like that, especially when doing like slick back ponytails. Because y'all know my hair isn't thick. It's kind of thin. So when I slick my hair back, the brown gel makes it look darker. You know what I'm saying? So I did use this up for slick back ponytails. And I like it. I mean, it's cool. If I wanted another brown gel, I would repurchase it. Of course, we have a couple African Pride pre-pools. I mean, y'all see this in every empties video that I have. So you already know how I feel about it. Bang. This is the Shea Moisture High Porosity Mask. Of course, this is old school. Y'all being new about this. Y'all being new. This is hella moisturizing. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, which is why I'm just through with even support and Shea Moisture because they get rid of all the good stuff and then they leave the stuff that we don't really like or care about. So this is discontinued. I can't seem to find it anywhere, but it is a very, very good mask. And unfortunately, it's dead. This hair makeup by Curlsmith, I think it's better to apply it on dry hair. When I applied it on wet hair, the color really didn't come up, but I let my twist dry and then kind of reapplied it. Like the next couple days, I reapplied it and the color showed up much better. So I reapplied it, retwisted my hair, and then the color showed up way, way better. So I would put this on like dry hair to really get the color payoff. When you put it on wet hair, it seems like it diminishes the color some. So I do like it, but I don't think I would repurchase. So those are all my hair empties. I'm gonna try to get y'all some more. I'm gonna try. I'm, I am definitely going to be using my stash, okay? So hopefully y'all like this video. If you like my little sleek bun, I did do a video on how I do my sleek buns and I did also record this makeup look. So check those videos out if they're already uploaded. Please make sure you like this video, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.